the motion from Governor Lee uh, for the executive order for electronic meetings pursuant to Governor Lee's executive order number 65 regarding electronic meetings. I make a motion that this committee meeting agenda constitutes essential business of the Metropolitan Council and that meeting electronically is necessary to protect the health, safety and welfare of Tennesseans in light of COVID-19 of the COVID-19 outbreak. So moved. Second. Second. Thank you. It's been moved and properly seconded. Uh, and we will do a, uh, a roll call. And with this roll call, I will also take uh, attendance. Uh, Council Member Hurt. Council Member Benedict. Aye. Council Member Glover. Council Member Hall. Present. Council Member Porterfield. Aye. Council Member Pulley. Council Member Welsh, Vice Chair. Present. Council Member Hauser. Present. And Council Member Taylor. Is present. I um, and to let you know that this was also uh, a motion uh, to um, uh, for the uh, electronic meetings, um, and so I want to ask Councilmember Hauser, do you vote aye? Yes. Okay, Councilmember Welsh, how do you vote? Yes. And Councilmember Hall. Yes. Thank you. All right. Motion passes. Resolution RS 2020-657 by Gansel, uh, Gamble, Johnson, Sepulveda, and Welsh appropriates $29,822,775 in CARES Act funds to certain accounts for the benefit of various metro government departments. There is a proposed amendment by Councilmember Mendez. Council Member Mendez present. Would anyone like to move the amendment? I'll move the amendment, Chair. I'll second. Thank you. The amendment has been moved and properly seconded. Uh, Ms. Zeitlin, could you give us an overview of that amendment, please? Yeah, just one second. Let me pull it up. Thank you. This is Councilman Mendez's amendment. Yes, uh, 657. Uh, this changes some language to um, give a little more specificity to the amounts that are being appropriated to uh, the the items in section four. Uh, that's the, the $20 million that's being appropriated. Um, further, it amends section five uh, to, to uh, Give more specificity to how the the money is being broken down. The five million dollars that's going to schools is being broken down into um, uh, four point four million dollars for laptops for teachers and six hundred thousand for virtual curric curriculum and at home uh, school supplies for students. And then it also amends section eight um, to uh, to change some of the la the language to to clarify uh, how the money is being appropriated to the uh, uh, to the reserve account, uh, and also uh, also uh, what the money can be used for uh, out of the reserve account, which would include expenditures for public safety salaries, um, uh, an additional COVID-19 emergency response needs. A lot of that language is existing in section eight, but this just kind of adds some clarifications. Thank you so much, Ms. Zeitlin. Do we have any discussion? Seeing none discussion, I will now take a vote on the amendment. Council Member Hurt. Council Member Benedict. Aye. Council Member Glover. Councilmember Hall. 
Aye. Councilmember Porterfield. Aye. Councilmember Welsh. Aye. Councilmember Hauser. Aye. And Councilmember Taylor is uh, aye as well. So uh, the amendment passes. Uh, now we have the amendment. Um, and now I would uh, entertain a motion for uh, the bill as amended. So moved. Second. Second. Bill's been properly moved and seconded. Uh, and we'll do a roll call. Council Member Hurt. Council Member Benedict. Aye. Council Member Glover. Council Member Hall. No. Council Member Porterfield. Aye. Council Member Pulley. Council Member Welsh. Aye. Council Member Hauser. Aye. Council Member Taylor is an aye as well. Motion carries five in favor, one against. Right. Resolution RS 2020-679 by Toombs, Taylor, Welsh, Hancock, Swara, Hurt, and Styles approves a contract between the Metro Board of Health and Stars Nashville to fund an epidemiologist position to study data regarding cigarette smoking, vaping, and e-cigarette use with a primary focus on children and young adults. Um, and I'm also going to take... Uh, of approval. Uh, oh. I'm also going to take, excuse me, thank you, uh, RS-2020-680 uh, with this. Approves an amendment by Toombs, Taylor, Welsh, Shore, and Hurt. Approves Amendment 4 to grant contract from the Tennessee Department of Health to the Metro Board of Health to improve the health of those residing in or visiting Davidson County through targeted strategy, strategies to prevent and control the use of tobacco products. Uh, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. It's been, it's been moved and probably seconded. Any discussion? Mr. Sharp, are you on the call? Would you like to please uh, discuss 679 and 680? Right, Mr. Chairman, thank you. The uh, STARS grant is new. That's to hire an epidemiologist to look at the prevalence of e-cigarette use and other related issues around that, which will be really good information, I hope. Uh, the tobacco grant is a long-standing. That's an that's that's an amendment to a long-standing tobacco uh, control grant from the state of Tennessee. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Sharp. You have heard an explanation. Any discussion? All right. We will go to a roll call vote. Councilmember Hurt. Councilmember Benedict. Aye. Councilmember Glover. Councilmember Hall. Aye. Councilmember Porterfield. Councilmember Porterfield. Council Aye. Pulley. Thank you, Councilmember Porterfield. Councilmember Pulley. Councilmember Welsh. Aye. Councilmember Hauser. Aye. And Councilmember Taylor. Thank you so much. Uh, both motions passed. Six in favor, zero against. RS-2026-81 by Toombs, Taylor, Welsh, Hancock, Hurt, and Stiles accepts a grant from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to the Metro uh, Board of Health for the ongoing collection of data on ambient air concentrations for fine par uh, uh, particulate matter in Nashville, Tennessee. Do we have a motion? So move. Second. And um, do we have any discussion? Mm -hmm. Mr. Sharp. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. The uh, ambient air quality standards look at uh, gases in the atmosphere, and then uh, some years later, they decide they need to look at particulate matter, really small things that can get deep into your lungs and cause problems, and that's what this one is for. It's the grant that uh, runs the monitors for fine particulate matter. Thank you so much, Mr. Sharp. Any additional discussion? Seeing none, we'll go to the vote. Council Member Hurt. Councilmember Benedict. Aye. Councilmember Glover. Councilmember Hall. Aye. Councilmember Porterfield. Aye. Councilmember Pulley. Councilmember Welsh. 
Aye. Councilmember Hauser. Aye. Councilmember Taylor is an aye as well. Uh, six in favor, zero against. RS 2026-82 by Tombs, Taylor, Welsh, Allen, Swore, and Stiles approves a contract between Metro Social Services and Room and Inn uh, to use CARES Act funding to provide operational support for a day shelter in order to stem the COVID-19 spread among individuals experiencing homelessness. So moved. I'd like to move this. Do we have a second? Second. second. Thank you. Um, Ms. Tackett, are you available to discuss this just briefly for a minute? Yes, this is to in support of operational costs for uh, room in the inn. They really uh, have not um, lost a step in the COVID um, pandemic to really continue serving people. Um, there is a huge increase in uh, need for showers uh, and laundry access. Um, they ha are still serving people uh, throughout this crisis where a lot of services all of a sudden had stopped. So, yeah, that's operational cost support. Thank you. Do we have any additional discussion? Seeing none, uh, we will do a roll call vote. Council member. Hurt. Councilmember Benedict. Aye. Councilmember Glover. Councilmember Hall. Aye. Councilmember Porterfield. Aye. Aye. Councilmember Welsh. Aye. Councilmember Hauser. Aye. And I, Councilmember Chair. Six in favor, zero against. RS 2026-83, Toombs, Taylor, Welsh, Schwar, and Stiles approves Amendment 6 to a grant from the Greater Nashville Regional Council to the Metro Social Services Commission to provide meals that meet RDA nutritional guidelines and transportation services to eligible seniors and handicapped residents. Moved and approved. Right. Second. Second. Thank you so much. Uh, Council Member Hauser, I see that you have your hand uh, for discussion. I have a question. Is this uh, related to Meals on Wheels or is this a separate program? Did you hear my question? I did, thank you so okay. much. Uh, is there anyone from Metro Social Services? I'm looking through the- um, Yes, Council Member. This oh, yes. Girl. Okay. Thank you so much. I didn't see your name. Uh, I'm Thank the you. program manager here, and also, with your permission, I also like to recognize Mr. Greg Perry, who is Thank the you. current program manager. Uh, this particular amendment is requesting to move the congregate funding because we cannot have congregate sites anymore due to uh, the pandemic that's been suspended. So, those funds, instead of just letting it lie there and in the congregate budget, we want to move those funds to the home deliver uh, funding so, so that that way we'll be able to still meet the uh, necessity to help everybody uh, that's congregate and homebound to receive the meals. And also, uh, we want to also amend uh, the fact that we, we don't have Piccadilly as our vendor anymore because they closed down September the 4th, which Mr. Perry was the manager at Piccadilly. So we are now uh, having a new vendor, which is TRIO. So that's basically what this amendment is all about. Any more questions? Councilman, it looks like you're muted. Did we come off? Thank you. I I don't believe we have any additional questions. Um, so we'll take this action. Uh, Council member Benedict. Aye. Council member Hall. Aye. Council member Porterfield. Aye. Council member Welsh. Aye. Council member Hauser. Aye. 
Aye. Council Member Taylor. Uh, motion carried six in favor, zero against. We have a late file resolution by Council Member Toombs. It is a resolution appropriating a total of $200,000 from the Nashville Public Library and $183,000 from social services to various nonprofit organizations selected to receive community partnership funds grants. I would like to make a motion for this resolution. Do we have a second? Second. It's been moved and properly second. Council Member Toombs. Thank you, Chair. Uh, this resolution uh, involves CARES Act funds that are coming from uh, money that was originally allocated to um, Nashville Public Library, as well as uh, social services, and they're going to various uh, nonprofit organizations that are providing uh, services in the community. Uh, obviously, since this is CARES Act funds, it, the money has to be spent by the end of the month, and this is our last meeting of the month, so that's why this uh, resolution is coming forward. I don't know if there's someone from uh, the public library or social services on the line uh, who can talk about, you know, which nonprofits are are receiving funds. If the community wishes to hear that. Councilman Toombs, could you share with us the uh, organizations that are receiving funds? I do not have that list in front of me. Okay. No problem. Uh, any any discussion or any questions uh, for the sponsor from the committee? Seeing none, we will take action uh, on this resolution. Uh, Council Member Hurt. Council Member Benedict. Aye. Council Member Glover. Council Member Hall. Aye. Council Member Porterfield. Aye. Council Member Pulley, Council Member Welsh. Aye. Council Member Hauser. Aye. Aye, Council Member Taylor. Thank you. Six in favor, zero against. All right, we're getting to the last few. Bills on second reading, BL 2025-05, Council Member Hall directs the Metro purchasing agent to enter into an emergency contract for the continued operation of the Bordeaux long-term care facility for the remainder of fiscal year 2021 and affirming the council's intention that the current appropriation in fiscal year 2021 operating budget for the Bordeaux long-term care facility management be used to fund the emergency contract. Do I have a motion? <coughs> We have a motion. So I'd like to move this uh, BL 2025. We have a second. For the purpose of discussion. Yes. Thank you, Councilman Benedict. Uh, Councilmember Hall, you have the floor. Um, um, I'll make this one quick. This bill is going to be withdrawn. Thank you, Council Member Hall. BL 202553 by Council Member Hall requires a resolution of the Metro Council 30 days prior to discontinuing operations at the Bordeaux Long Term Care Facility, the JB Knowles Home Assisted Living Facility, or Nashville General Hospital. Uh, there is a proposed substitute on this bill. Um, Council Member Hall. Um, uh, there's a proposed substitute. Would you like us to move the proposed substitute? Or excuse me, Council Member Toombs has a proposed substitute. Okay. I, would. I believe Council it's Council Member Toombs that has it. It is. I, it is. Yeah. Good deal. So we're going to move the proposed substitute. Do we have a second? Second. Good. Council Member Toombs. Uh, thank you, Chair. So my proposed substitute. Um, changes the, the bill so that it focuses on NOLS assistant living, which actually um, contract is coming up uh, June 30th of, of next year. However, I am continuing to work with the administration on the substitute. And so in, in budget and finance, I did request the, I signed on to the original bill and requested a one meeting to Thank you, Council Member Would you, so, so Council Member Toons, would you like to add uh, the substitute or would you like to add the substitute later? 
I would like to add it later because I want to keep working on it with the administration. Thank you so much. All right. So uh, we would like to move um, uh, the amendment uh, of the bill as is. Um, so I'd like to move that. Do we, we, we have a second? Second. Thank you. Uh, so this is to, uh, 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 to, we've just moved the bill um, as seconded and it's been asked for a deferral. Um, Council Member Hall, um, we have a deferral on this bill. So um, I want to go to the vote for a deferral. One meeting, is it a one meeting deferral, Council Member Toombs? I would like to ask for a one meeting uh, deferral. I'm not on the committee, but I do ask that the committee give a one meeting deferral. Okay. I think I lost you. I think I lost you for a second, uh, Chair. I think I lost you for a second, but yes, um, one meeting deferral. Thank you, Council Member Hall. So uh, it's been moved uh, for a one meeting deferral. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you so much. It's been moved and properly second for a one meeting deferral. Uh, Council Member Hurt. Council Member Benedict. Aye. Council Member Glover. Council Member Hall. Aye. Councilmember Porterfield. Aye. Councilmember Pulley. Councilmember Welsh. Aye. Councilmember Hauser. Aye. And Councilmember Taylor is also uh, aye. So uh, it's in six in favor, zero against uh, to defer this one meeting. Uh, this is the last meeting of the year uh, for this committee. Ha happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, thank you guys so much, and uh, I will adjourn this meeting. Thank you. This has been a service of the Metro National Network. If you would like to see this presentation again, or for more information about this and other programs, visit Nashville.gov.